cast steel globe valves. Now these units are available in a number of different sizes, from 50 mil through to about 300 or bigger in fact. Uh, they are cast steel body, we call it WCB, but cast steel. Um, I'll show you the actual unit afterwards. But it's basically a handle coming down with a shaft and this goes onto this globe shaped, shaped seat here. Now the idea of the seat, you know, wind this handle up and down um, and it lifts this assembly up and down here. The flow comes into the base underneath and out and it's usually a flange valve. ANSI is the ones that we normally stock. This face on here has a hardened stellite seat because the steam coming through is very abrasive. This is good for steam and, and other applications, but usually it's used on steam and high temperature. It has a high temperature seat, uh, flexible uh, graphite seats inside here, and the direction of flow, as I said before, is here. The, as it comes up and down, because of the globe shape, it gives you a proportion of control. Now, this is good over other gate uh, and ball valves because you are getting this flow control effect due to the fact that as it drops into the valve cavity it's giving a proportional cutting off and opening up of the flow. I'll show you the unit down here. Here's a 50 millimeter unit. Shows you the direction of flow here. 150, ANSI 150. You've got your adjustment up the top. Inside here an adjustable packing. Uh, the outside of the cast steel body is treated with a high temperature uh, paint and which can be painted on top of if necessary someone can paint over it it's a primer type high temperature and it's a very rugged reliable and economical way of controlling steam and high temperature fluids and other applications is that a rising stem this one here is a rising stem unit so as you wind it up, the actual unit will rise up and down and lifting up the seat at the same time.